Sydney Christian School equates same-sex relationships with abuse. Last week, Brisbane's City Point Christian College received resounding condemnations from advocacy groups for student contracts with morality clauses that stigmatized LGBT students. Due to that fallout, Penrith Christian School in Sydney has now fallen under scrutiny for similar practices. Penrith made it a part of the student enrollment process for parents to, quote, read and understand the school's, quote, unquote, statement of faith. The document includes the statement, quote, adultery, same-sex attraction, transgender identity, premarital sex, sexual acts between members of the same sex, and abusive relationships are examples of relationships which are not acceptable to God, listing these as examples of, quote, unquote, fallen relationships. It is not clear if there are any consequences for violating the statement of faith. When asked by The Guardian to respond to the criticism, the school's principal, Tracy Dean, declined to give any comments, insisting instead that the statement of faith has been taken out of context. This is like deja, such a deja vu. Didn't we just go over exactly something like this, just like last week? Well, that's what I was saying, that mm -hmm. in Brisbane, yeah. this fallout with the City Point Christian College has kind of brought all these kinds of statement of faiths across the country to light. And so this is an this example is... of them digging into the statement of faith of another school and people are like, oh, what the hell? Like, look at the shit that's in here. Yeah. You know, this is the form of cancel culture I could get behind. <laughs> like, yeah. like when it comes to like, these are bigots, you know, you you need to shine a line on the fact um, on, on these, what these organizations and churches actually stand for. Okay. So this is good. I endorse this. I support this. Keep, you know, do keep hunting these, these organizations down. Like, do these, are these the same organization who get like tax benefits, you know, from the government in Australia? Um, because they shouldn't I don't be. know. These are Christian schools. So I don't know what the law is in Australia about that kind of thing, but it, hopefully not. But like, okay, so yeah, so they should pay whatever consequences, whatever fire they're, you know, they're on their own for all of these bigot for all this bigotry. I support all of that. Okay, I want them to be, I want them, I want their all their organizations to fail because of this, right? So, good, yeah, keep at it, Australians, go well, at them, go at them. That's what's kind of funny is that there's this huge controversy in Australia right now, which I touched on last week, that has to do with an anti-discrimination bill. And when you hear anti-discrimination bill, you think, oh, cool, this is like to prevent discrimination against you know people no. on the basis of their immutable rights. No, it's to prevent discrimination against religious people for their bigotry towards <laughs> LGBT people. It's like about maintain, you're discriminating <laughs> against me because I'm not <laughs> legally allowed to discriminate against others it's so such a meme. it's so it's weird. it's it's ridiculous so this I kind feel, of guys is, this into is that not a larger conversation i know this sounds like a joke but they literally are saying i feel discriminated for not being able to discriminate <laughs> i mean they're outing themselves this is so good like they keep on saying like my religion is that was under attack because because you're anti-bigotry or like Yes, <laughs> I'm glad you're. I'm glad that you're admitting that your religion stands for bigotry. Good, like keep signaling that to the world. Like this is this works so much in our favor. The more these organizations come and complain about the fact that they want to be bigots, just like the Hindu uh, groups, the Hindu organization in, in 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 the United States that are against like the whole anti caste laws that are coming, rules that are coming in. It's the exact same thing. These like they're like, oh, if you want to fight caste discrimination the hindu organization is going to complain if you want to fight you know homophobia and transphobia these christian organizations are going to complain and they're outing themselves right they're like signaling to the world that they are for bigotry and discrimination good keep doing it you're you're doing our job for us yeah yes yeah, that's is that i think ridiculous exactly so good hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below.
because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.